Once again, please, as a gentle reminder, please just switch off all cell phones during Mass. Will the pallbearers please move to the back of the church? Will the pallbearers please move to the back of the church? Please say now as we sing an entrance hymn and welcome the body of our late brother, Caleb Patrick White.
A very most welcome, hearty welcome to everyone to the funeral mass of our, our late brother, Caleb Patrick White, as he has gone for his eternal reward after 32 years of his earthly life. We extend our heartfelt condolence and our deeper sympathy to his family and friends, especially to his parents, his brothers, relatives and friends, and especially colleagues who have come from all the way from Joburg. We extend our, our condolence to you and we pray may the good Lord bless you all and keep you strong to say goodbye, Caleb. We'll see you again when we all come there. So as we are gathered here this, morning, this time now to say goodbye to him, let's thank God for the gift of his life and all the gifts and blessings uh, he has received during this uh, 32 years of his earthly time. And also let's thank God for all the gifts and blessings we have received, especially his family and friends. In many ways, in many occasions, Caleb has touched the lives of many. So let's thank God for all the blessings and ask the Lord to forgive all his shortcomings and failures and grant him eternal rest and peace. Let's spend a few moments in silence and pray for his soul and prepare our hearts and minds to celebrate this uh, uh, funeral mass. <coughs> Let's together say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have a great dissent in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask bless Mary, the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, Almighty Father, our faith professes that your Son died and rose again. Mercifully grant that through this mystery, your servant Caleb, who has fallen asleep in Christ, may rejoice to rise again through him, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated and listen to the scripture readings. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The souls of the righteous are in the hand of God, and no torment will ever touch them. In the eyes of the foolish, they seem to have died, and their departure was thought to be an affliction, and their going from us to be their destruction, but they are at peace. For though in the sight of men they were punished, their hope <coughs> is full of immortality. Having been disciplined a little, they will receive great good, because God tested them and found them worthy of himself. Like gold in the furnace, he tried them. And like the sacrificial burnt offering, he accepted them. Those who trust in him will understand truth. And the faithful will abide with him in love. Because grace and mercy are upon his elect. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. I believe I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. The Lord is my light and my salvation. <coughs> the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Whom shall I dread? The Lord is my light and my salvation. There is one thing I ask of the Lord. Only this do I seek. To live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. To gaze on the beauty of the Lord. To inquire at His temple. The Lord is my light and my salvation. O oh Lord, hear my voice when I call. Have mercy and answer me. Of you my heart has spoken. It is your face, O oh Lord, that I seek. Hide not your face from me. The Lord is my light and my salvation. I believe I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong. Be stout-hearted. And wait for the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, Peter opened his mouth and said, Truly I perceive that God shows no partiality, but in every nation, anyone who fears him and does what is right is acceptable to him. You know the words which he sent to the sons of Israel, preaching good news of peace, by Jesus Christ. He is Lord of all. And he commanded us to preach to the people and to testify that he is the one ordained by God to be judge of the living and the dead. To him all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, be thanks to the risen Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, be praise to his name. I am the loving bread which came down from heaven, says the Lord. If anyone eats of this bread, he will live forever. Hallelujah, hallelujah, be thanks to the risen Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, be praise to his name. The Lord be with you. And with your servant. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. When Jesus came to Bethany, he found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb four days. Bethany was near Jerusalem, about two miles off. And many of the Jews had come to Martha and Mary to console them concerning their brother. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went and met him, while Mary sat in the house. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. And even now I know that whatever you ask from God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, Your brother will rise again. 
Martha said to him, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord, I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, he who is coming into the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, as we all know that we are gathered here to say goodbye to our late brother, Caleb Patrick White, as he has gone for his eternal reward after 32 years of his earthly life. It's not so easy to say goodbye to people but we, we all have to say goodbye one day when we leave this earthly home. We know it's a final goodbye to our brother, late brother Caleb. So let's hope and pray that we will meet him when we all get to that place. So we always feel sadness, pain, and deprivation when we lose something. If we lose someone belong to us, belong to our family, to our neighborhood, our sadness becomes doubled. If we lose them in an unexpected way, the suddenness of death hits all of us. The news of uh, Caleb's death was a message which shocked and saddened all who knew him. We could scarcely believe it then, we can scarcely believe it now. A familiar voice, a footstep, a shared memory has suddenly disappeared and cannot ever be recreated. It's a heart-rending experience because the one we loved and still love has a place in our hearts and we can no longer find a place in him. A great violence has been done to us because we have lost a loving son, a good friend, a good neighbor and really we are trying to make sense of an aspect of human life which is so difficult to understand. We do not know why God has taken Caleb in an unexpected way. And probably we will never comprehend it this side of the grave. Today we need to ask ourselves if there is anything that we can hold on to to help us through this time of grief, something to help us cope with the feeling of darkness, the feeling of bright light having been extinguished. <coughs> there is the memory of Caleb himself, his personality, his commitment to his work, to his achievements and the gifts that he was to his family and to his friends. <coughs> With his gifts and talents, Caleb was someone who touched the lives of others in so many different ways. <coughs> we may need to learn something from Caleb's life and death. His passing from us may show us that life is a gift. 
something very precious, something that each of us should value and cherish. So we give thanks and praise to God for the gift of His life and all the grace and blessings He shared with His family and friends during His 32 years of His earthly life. Death is a loss, a separation that we cannot avoid and the parting is always difficult. Still, we are with full of hope, hoping to meet Him when we all get there. During the moments of our sadness and grief, our faith in the resurrection of Jesus is our strength and support. Today's Gospel, just now we heard the conversation between Martha and Jesus in the context of uh, her brother Lazarus' death. Jesus convincingly tells her, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? It's a question that comes to, all, comes to all of us today. As we say goodbye to Caleb, do you believe this? Do you believe Jesus is alive? Do you believe Jesus is the resurrection? And do you believe that we have a life in Jesus even after our death? So if this question comes to us all whenever we attend a funeral. Today we are gathered around the coffin of our brother uh, Caleb. So the question comes to us, do we believe in the life and the resurrection of Jesus? Once we believe, there is life for us. Our life doesn't end in the tomb, it goes beyond our tomb. We have a life, an everlasting life, with the Lord after this earthly life. The belief in the resurrection of body is our comfort and consolation. Every Sunday at Mass, we profess our faith in the resurrection, not only of Jesus of Nazareth, but of every man and woman and child, from the beginning to the end of human history. On every Sunday, we recite the words of the creed. We say, we look for the resurrection of the dead because life without that expectation <coughs> would lack meaning and completeness. Our funeral liturgy today provides us with the words of hope and consolation today. Our brother Caleb is on his way to the newness of life prepared by the Lord from the very beginning. God wanted Caleb to be nearer to him and now we believe that he is being taken care of. We who are left behind must take care of each other and in so doing, God's healing power will be at work among us to give us strength, consolation and courage for the future. So it is important for us to realize, especially in these unexpected circumstances, that God does not abandon us in our sadness and loneliness. To the contrary, God is with us, both in the light and darkness of life, in the joys and sorrows, just as God was with Jesus in life and in death. Life and death are mysteries and therefore full of surprises. Some of these surprises are remarkably rewarding and happy. Others are disturbing in their sadness. We need to prepare for the unexpected. We will never be unprepared if we use properly the various opportunities and possibilities given to us in life. Each of us is a tenant 
anything we have in this life has been given to us on trust by God. We hold only temporary possessions. We are each given a small part of uh, God's farm or vineyard to cultivate. Of course, we don't all get the same quality land. Some of us get the rich land of good health, good fortune, kind friends and high abilities while others get the hard ground of poverty, good fortune and maybe unjust treatment. But we can be sure of this. Our landlord God makes merciful allowances for these differences when we go to pay the rent. So brothers and sisters, as we are gathered here to say goodbye to our late brother Caleb, let's in a special way thank the Lord for the, the blessings he has received. In many ways, he has touched uh, many lives in many occasions. We had the beautiful obituary, uh, the way he touched the lives of many with his smiling, with his conversation, phone calls, of just being with the people. He touched many and encouraged in their lives. So let's thank God for all those, all those precious moments and say thank you Lord for giving us this wonderful life. We thank the Lord for the, the moment, that protection that he enjoyed during his 32 years of his life. Now he has gone. Let's pray for his soul. Let's pray for his soul and also let's pray for all his uh, uh, shortcomings and failures. We know we all are human beings. We all have our own failures and shortcomings in life. None of us uh, are here perfect. We have our own failures. But we know God is so merciful. God is so <coughs> kind and compassionate. Whenever we ask Him our, uh, for His uh, uh, absolution, forgiveness, of course, God grants us mercy and forgiveness. So let's, in a special way, ask the Lord for, for forgiveness and mercy for all His shortcomings and failures and grant Him, ask the Lord to grant Him uh, eternal peace uh, and uh, uh, serenity. Once again, we extend our heartfelt condolence and our deepest sympathy to his family and friends, especially <coughs> parents, Tyron and Michael, and his brothers and the wide range of family and friends and the colleagues, especially who came from Joburg to support the family at this time. We pray may the good Lord keep you all strong to say goodbye, Carolyn. We will see you again. <coughs> So let's in a special way believe in the words of Jesus on the resurrection and the life. If anyone believes in me, even though he dies, he will live. Caleb is with God. Caleb is at peace. May his soul rest in peace. Amen. Please stand for the praise of the musicians. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ is risen from the dead and sits at the right hand of the Father where he intercedes for his church. Confident that God hears the voices of those who trust in the Lord Jesus, we join our prayers to his and say, Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious, hear us. In baptism, our brother Caleb received the light of Christ, scattered the darkness now, and lead him over the waters of death. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious hear us. Our brother Caleb was nourished at the table of the Savior, welcoming into the halls of the heavenly banquet. Lord, hear us. 
Lord gracious lead us. Many friends and members of our families have gone before us and await the kingdom. Grant them an everlasting hope with your Son. Lord hear us. Lord gracious lead us. Many people die by violence, war and famine each day. Show your mercy to those who suffer and unjustly these sins against your love and gather them into the eternal kingdom of your peace. Lord hear us. Lord gracious hear us. Those who trusted in the Lord now sleep in the Lord. <coughs> Give refreshment, rest, and peace to all whose faith is known to you alone. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. The family and friends of Brother Caleb seek comfort and consolation. Heal their pain and dispel the darkness and doubt that come from grief. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord God, giver of peace and healer of souls, hear the praise of the Redeemer Jesus Christ and the voice of your people whose lives were purchased by the blood of the Lamb. Forgive the sins of all who sleep in Christ and grant them a place in the kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. You may be seated now. Who was and is 
this guy or you kneel down. Kneel on the knee list or you can stand. You are indeed holy or Lord, the form, the form holiness. Make holy therefore these things this way by sending down your spirit upon the like that you form. So that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> At the time he was betrayed and ended willingly into his passion, he took bread and given thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that your elders worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that for taking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Vincent our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember your servant Caleb, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Our mercy on us all, we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <laughs> through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen.
graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, For the kingdom.
Let us pray. Lord God, whose Son left us in the sacrament of His body, food for the journey, mercifully grant that strengthened by it, our brother Caleb may come to the eternal table of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Please allow me to explain the symbols you will use at the final commendation. As Catholics, we bless ourselves daily with the sign of the cross, reminding us that God died for us and rose on the third day. The cross is a sign of triumph over death. The holy water. This water is blessed at the each vigil. Our ancestors lived in the desert and water was vitally important to them. Fathers would leave oases in water wells to the offspring as an inheritance. Water was and still is a sign of life, nourishment, sustenance and purification. It is a reminder of the unity we share through our baptism. Incense. This is sweet-smelling smoke. Our ancestors lived in the desert and offered, our ancestors offered up sacrifice on the altars and the smoke would rise upward to heaven in thanksgiving to God for the many blessings received. So too do we offer thanks to God for the life of our loved one, Caleb Patrick White. The Easter candle. The Easter candle is blessed at the Easter vigil. The light is a sign of Christ's presence among us. This too reminds us that Christ is the light in our darkness. Please stand for the final commendation and farewell. Trusting in God, we have prayed together for Caelan Patrick White, and now we come to the last favor. There is sadness in parting, but we take comfort in the hope that one day we shall see him again and enjoy his friendship. Although this congregation will disperse its soul, the mercy of God will gather us together again in the joy of his kingdom. Therefore, let's console one another in the faith of Jesus Christ. All pray in silence for a moment for the departed soul of our late brother, Caleb Patrick White.
desire to dwell in the courts of our God. Every day of my life in His presence. May the choirs of angels come to greet you. May they speed you to paradise. May the Lord enfold you in His mercy. May you find it so. Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our brother Caden in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, he will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon him in this life. They are signs of us, of your goodness, and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn toward us and listen to our praise. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurance of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and with our brother forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Your Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In peace, let us take our brother to his place of rest. Thanks be to God. For the Lord, please come forward. We'll sing the processional hymn. And Lord, 